Hey guys, it's HD here. In today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make this awesome zombie anatomy statue. We've already done a creeper one, we've done an Enderman one, we've done a Steve one, and we've even done a dog one. So if you guys are like any of those that sound good to you, feel free to go check them out in the playlist down below. Let's go ahead and get started on the zombie one now. Okay, so we're gonna come over here real quick. And what you're gonna need for this build is blue wool, cyan wool, green wool, uh, gray wool, black wool, and we're also gonna need some block of quartz later. But for right now, we're gonna stick with those ones and I'll let you guys know when we need the block of quartz. As always, guys, feel free to send me a picture of this build on Instagram or Twitter whenever you get finished building it. I'd love to check it out. And remember the pause button and the rewind ability are your best friend in this video. If at any point in the video you feel lost or I'm going too fast, you can always pause it and go back, but let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start with the shoe and what you're gonna use is the gray wool and we're gonna do a row of four. That's what we're gonna start off with. So it'll be one, two, three, four. Directly on top of that row, we're gonna do the same exact thing. One, two, three, and four. Okay, and then the, or the right side, looking from the front, we are gonna do a row of three going to the back. So one, two, three. Then on top of that, repeat the same process. One, two, three. Then going back to the front on your left side, we're gonna do the same thing we did on the right side. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then go ahead and close up the back with two rows of two, just like this. One, two, one, two. Okay, and then go ahead and close up that top right there. And now basically what we have is a eight by eight, or no, eight, eight, a four by four square, two four by four squares on top of each other. Really simple. And on the back two, uh, two rows, we're gonna go ahead and complete those with two rows of four. So one, two, three, four, and the same thing right here, one, two, three, and four. Okay, so that is our shoe right here. That's what we're gonna build the rest of this, you know, zombie half off of, and then we're gonna do the skeleton part last. Okay, so let's get started on the jeans now. Okay, so what you wanna do is on the left corner right here on the front, you wanna go up by 12 with the blue wool. It's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Okay, and then on the right side, do the exact same thing. Just go ahead and add up to the same exact height. And these two middle blocks are gonna be a little bit different. The left one, we're gonna go up by four. One, two, three, four. Same thing on the right one. One, two, three, four. And then these two blocks right here are gonna be gray wool. And then the rest of the way, it's gonna be the, oops, wrong wool. <laughs> the rest of the way, it's gonna be blue wool again. All right, perfect. And now we're gonna come over here to the back right here. And we are gonna do all four of these going straight up with a total of nine blue wools. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then do the same thing on these three as well. Okay, the next row is gonna go ahead and do this. So. You're gonna just change up with the cyan wool. It's gonna be cyan wool, then three blue wool, one, two, three. Next row is gonna be two cyan wool, one, two, then one gray wool, then one blue wool. Just like that. And then on the right side, we're gonna fill all this up to the same height with blue wool. And then the same thing on the left side. Fill it all with the blue wool. We're just gonna finish these jeans up. Okay, perfect. So that is the leg. We are done with the leg. Let's get started on the torso. Okay, so on the front of the jeans area of this leg right here, so right here on this row right here, on the left side, you want to go with the cyan wool, a total of 10 blocks straight up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And the exact same thing on the right, the next block right next to it, straight up. Next row, we're going to do nine. So let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Next row is gonna be eight. It's gonna be one, two, three, four, five. Oops, where we're at, I've messed up. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and then in these three rows, right, these three blocks right here, we do green wool, just like this. Sorry if you heard my phone notification go off. I apologize. <laughs> okay, so then what you're gonna do is we're gonna go to the back now, and we're gonna do that exact amount of, you know, basically the same exact thing, but all cyan wool all the way up, just to the same exact height. Okay. And one more right here. And boom. Okay, and now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take these uh, green wool blocks and you're gonna go ahead and connect them to this back piece right here. Okay, just like that. You're gonna leave this one like this though. Okay, and now every other place besides, actually every place, we're gonna fill all this in with cyan wool now, every single place. Close everything up, it should all just melt together with the cyan wool. Okay, go to this side too. I'm not gonna skip ahead for this part just because it's really quick, okay? And boom. Okay, let's do the arm. Okay, so for the arm, what you wanna do is you wanna go four blocks down, so one, two, three, four. And you're basically gonna build a platform from here going out four blocks, so and four rows of four from that fourth block, just like this. 
Okay, I'll give you guys a closer look. So again, it's in the fourth block down. You're going to create a row of four, uh, four a row of platform. It's four by four, very similar to what we did with that foot down there. Okay, and then you're going to take this up to the all. We'll basically take both corners up to the same exact height as the uh, the basically the torso. Yeah. So one, two, three, just like that. And then this corner too. One, two, three, and then go ahead and connect those to the torso. And then connect those, and then just go ahead and fill them in. So basically, we just made a four by four a cube on the side of the torso we already had. And we're going to fill in the sides. Okay, and the top. And then now we're going to do the arm real quick. And with the arm, what you're going to do is get the green wool. And all four of these blocks, we are going to take all the way down to where two blocks into the jeans. I think that's eight blocks. Let me count though to be sure. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Perfect, okay. So on all four corners of this, you know, the shoulder area we made, you wanna go down eight blocks. So you can make one row and then just kind of eyeball like I'm doing, as you can tell. And do the same thing on this one. Take that all the way down. And on the back right here as well. And then go ahead and connect all those. Just like this. And now we wanna just fill in all of these, you know, basically all these openings with the green wool. And we're just gonna be closing off his arm. So, you know, it's not, you just, you know, does have these holes in it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, so now you should have that part done. You should have the arm done, the torso done, the leg done. Now let's go ahead and add the head. So these four blocks right here in the edge, you can see the closest to the right side, these four blocks right here, we're gonna go ahead and create a row of four on top of that. And then we're gonna go ahead and push it out two blocks, just like this. So basically it's just three blocks, but it's two blocks off of the torso. And then you're gonna take the exact same thing all the way to your two blocks off the back, just like this. So just go ahead and go like this until you get two blocks off the back. Just go ahead and ignore that block I messed up on. Okay, just like that. And then we're gonna come to the front, we're gonna do another row of the uh, green wool, just like this. Then another row of green wool. And then the next row, so it's three rows of green wool as you can tell already. Then the next row is gonna be one green wool, two black wool, then it's going to be two green or one green wool. Then the next, all the way the rest of the way up, it's going to be four green wool rows. Just like this, so one, two, three, and four, just like this. I'll give you a look at it again. So again, it's three rows, of, uh, three rows, and then the eyeballs right here, then it's four rows on top of the eyeball row. So it's basically eight rows high, okay? And every Minecraft head pretty much is gonna be eight by eight square, but since we're cutting this one in half, it's going to be a you know four by eight square, I guess. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the back real quick and basically just go ahead and add up to that same exact height. Just total of eight rows. So we have one already there, so we're adding seven to that. Okay, and you can go ahead and eyeball it if you want to too, just to make sure it's the same height. That's what I'm doing. Okay, and then go ahead and connect those with the green wool as well. Just like this. And, oops, and boom, okay. And now what you wanna do is just go ahead and Fill in both this side and this side with the green wool. I'm gonna go ahead and skip ahead with that because it might take a tiny bit of time. Um, but yeah, just go ahead and fill in this side and that side. Okay, if you did everything correctly, you should have been left with half of a zombie just like this, as you can tell. And now we're gonna be getting the block of quartz out, and this is where you're gonna be starting the skeletal system. Okay, so this is also where you can decide what you wanna make the skeletal system out of. You can do it out of white wool, you can do it out of snow, or if you wanna make it look a little bit more like corroded, I guess. I tried to do it out of the white stained clay. I didn't really like it that much. I tried to, I tried to come up with some kind of like rotted looking bone, but honestly, none of them look that good, so I decided just to go with quartz. But you can decide now, and let's go get started on that. Okay, so what you wanna do is get your quartz blocks, and these four blocks right here, it's, during the skeletal system, it's really prepared to get, you have to really pay attention because it's really hard to explain some of this stuff. So just make sure you're focused on, you know, where I'm placing the blocks. So in these four blocks right here, I wrote looks eat technically. These eight technical blocks right here. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that with these, uh, the block of quartz, just like that. So you're basically mimicking that, those eight blocks, just like this, as you can see, okay? And then once you've done that, you wanna bring these out back to the back, I mean, by three blocks. So one, two, three, down here, one, two, three and then go ahead and connect them to the torso, okay? And then go ahead and fill in the bottom of this, just like this, just the bottom layer, okay? Because you wanna leave this like a pelvis kind of area, like it's open, okay? And then what you wanna do is in these four center blocks down here at the bottom, you wanna take these all the way down to the ground. This is our leg, okay? And once you've placed one, you wanna do the rest of the four. You can go, you can build up though, it's a lot easier to build it up than it is to build down, okay? And then right here too and boom, that is our lake. 
Okay, now for the spine, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and take this back block right here that's close to the back of the zombie and take that all the way up to get to the same level as his head, right there. So as soon as it gets to the head level, you're done, okay? And go ahead and do that. Let's get started on the ribs. Okay, so for the ribs, what you're gonna do is on this top block right here, you're gonna go to the right a total of three blocks. So one, two, three. Then you're gonna go towards the front with three blocks as well. One, two, three. And then you're gonna go to the left one block, then diagonal one block, then diagonal second block. Okay, next rib, we're gonna go skip one block and go right here and go to the right again, three blocks. One, two, three. And then forward three blocks. One, two, three. Now we're gonna go to the left one block, then down one block, to the left one block, down one block, to the left one block, and then down one block. So take a look at that because that may have got confusing for some people. It's just, again, we, exactly what we did in the other rib, but you do two, then you go down one, then two, then go down one, then two. Really simple. Okay, next row, go ahead and skip another block, and go ahead and add three going to the right, one, two, three, then three going forward, one, two, three, and then go diagonal, a single block. Just like that, and that is our rib cage right there. Really simple. Okay, let's add the arm to that real quick. So for the arm, what you're gonna do is on these two center blocks right here of the rib cage, you're gonna go ahead and extend these by three blocks. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Then take these back two, uh, basically these back four blocks actually, and go ahead and bring these down till we get to the exact same length as the bottom of the pelvis area. So just go ahead and take them all the way down and stop, just right there. And do the same thing on the other four, the other three blocks. Okay, and then back here as well. And right here, okay. And now let's go ahead and add the skull. Okay, for the skull, what you wanna do is take this bottom row right here, and you're gonna bring this out a total of four rows, exactly the same length as the head, just like this. Or you can do it in one like this to where basically it's inside the head. Um, I prefer to do it like this, but I know I have done them before. I think this creeper one is actually in a block, um, but you know, that just depends on preference. I kinda of like it better like this, so that's why I'm doing it, but you can easily bring them in one block if you prefer to do that, okay? And then once you have that, it should end at the rib cage just like this. As you can see, we just mimic the other side. And then what you're gonna do is on the back two blocks right here, these back corner blocks, you're gonna go ahead and add two. And then just go, actually just go ahead and do the, all this whole row right here, just like this. These back two uh, rows, just go ahead and fill them in with an extra layer. And then the rest of it, we're gonna basically just leave a space right here, because this is where the mouth opening is gonna be actually. And then go ahead and do a whole row of four. One, two, three, four. The next row, it's gonna be one uh, quartz block, then a spacing of two, then one quartz block. Then the rest of the way up, it's going to be the uh, quartz blocks. Okay, just like this. And then we're gonna take this to the back. And basically we're just copying this head, but we're just doing it all with the quartz blocks now rather than green wool. And you're just gonna fill in the whole rest of this with the quartz blocks. So we're just gonna go through the whole thing all the way up to the top. And again, if you wanna make it shorter than the head you can, you can put it to where it goes right here. So it's technically inside the head. But um, I, like I said, I really, it just doesn't look as good to me personally. So we're gonna go ahead and finish this up. And one last row inside, and boom. Okay, and then now you can decide whether you wanna build like a brain inside here if you want to. Um, the way to do the brain, there's really no pattern to it. I just kind of throw you know pink and white blocks in there. So let me get the pink and white blocks out real quick. Okay, so for this what I did was basically, I just take the pink and white blocks and just kind of throw them in there a little bit randomly. I guess you can kind of make it in the shape of a brain. I really didn't have any intentions on doing it when I did it the first time. It just kind of, I just kind of just did this. <laughs> this is really all that happens. And I just kind of replaced certain blocks with pink wool and white wool. And then, you know, I kind of make like a little fake brain in here. And it can be whatever shape you want it to be. I'm gonna make my brain kind of like this, I guess. Okay. Just like that. That's our brain. Okay, we'll get out of here real quick. Okay, let's close everything back up. And that is our anatomy statue, guys. If you're new here, please subscribe. We do tons of crazy Minecraft builds in the channel. Well, well I do. I show you guys how to build all kinds of crazy Minecrafts. We have crazy houses, crazy builds, all kinds of stuff. If you can hit the like on the video, that'd be awesome too. Just hit that like button. I'd greatly appreciate it. As you can see, we have a Freddy Fazbear house here too. I'm telling you, we have crazy stuff here. So if you're new here, please subscribe. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.
Hey guys, welcome to the outro. Thank you so much for making here on the right side of our screen. This is a recommended video. Go click on that and now take the last video on my other channel where I do a really, really awesome uh, Five Nights at Freddy's toy haul. So it's pretty cool. Definitely recommend check that out. And on the left side of your screen, where it says previous video, you can go and click that and now take the last video on this channel. But anyway, guys, thank you so much just for watching this video. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Adios.